Setting the hatch origin point. Here I, let's say I have a wall, 10 foot long wall, seven foot six tall. I'm gonna go over here and put a hatch pattern in. And I'm gonna go down and choose a concrete block pattern. And I'm gonna place it here in, uh, oop, I gotta change that to one here. There we go. And I'm going to now close the hatch pattern. So if I'm looking at my block wall, would a mason build a block wall like this? No. The reason is it's a partial block on the bottom down here. And it's a partial block on the top, but that's okay. But it's a partial block on the bottom, and they don't start with a full block. That's not the way we normally would set it. So when we come in here and pick on my um, hatch pattern, I can go up and say set the origin. And in the origin here, I can say I want it to be on the bottom left, I can be on the bottom right, I can be on the top left, but that means we have to start making the wall from the top down, top right, no, we wanna do that. And the center is where um, it really is right now. It started from the center and worked its way out. So I'm going to switch this to bottom left. And notice when I do that now. Now my concrete block started with a half a block and built all the way across. And then we kept building blocks. And when we got to the top, we have a little piece of block on the top. Which is more how we would really build a concrete block wall. So I can set these hatch um, origin points. And so when I go to the hatch, I'm going to take my annotative off. I can set my origin point. I can set this ahead of time, say bottom left. Now I come in here and pick, boom, and I close my hatch pattern. I get the correct hatch pattern right from the start. So setting the hatch origin point is controlling the position of the hatch patterns.